The 2024 Republican National Convention is underway right now in Milwaukee. Live pictures outside that facility just two days now after an attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, who following roll call this afternoon is now officially the party's presidential nominee alongside his pick for vice president, a senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance. Between the convention, the nomination, vice presidential pick and recovery from the weekend, the former president's supporters are energized heading into the heat of election season. NBC's Alice Barr has more from Milwaukee. A Republican National Convention like no other, kicking off under the shadow of the attempted assassination of former President Trump and the spotlight of the political world. All of its 40 votes for President Donald J. Trump. The roll call of states officially naming Donald J. Trump as the Republican nominee for president. And in a highly anticipated move, announcing his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio. The celebratory traditions in Milwaukee coming just two days after the raw horror of a nationally witnessed assassination attempt in Pennsylvania. Supporters sending prayers from Milwaukee. It may have made us more resolved. Energized Republicans further buoyed by a federal judge in Florida dismissing the classified documents case against the former president. The Trump appointed judge not ruling on the merits of the case, but citing technical grounds in how special counsel Jack Smith was appointed. The Justice Department is expected to appeal while it's focused now on the attempted assassination. The FBI today searching the home of the 20 year old shooter looking for clues to his motive and in investigating how he was able to climb onto a roof 150 yards from former President Trump and fire multiple shots hitting him in the ear. Jason Isha was there. Thousands of people started running, sprinting, screaming, crying. He and his wife now hoping heated political rhetoric will tone down. We want to see it on our side too. We want to see it on everybody's side. In an Oval Office address, President Biden called on Americans to reject political violence and unite, a message former President Trump is expected to drive home during this week's convention. Former President Trump is set to formally accept his nomination here at the RNC on Thursday, and he is reportedly rewriting that speech to focus more on a message of unity. In Milwaukee, Alice Barr, NBC News.